Hey guys, Stacy here we grow again. <laughs> I got caterpillars munching my leaves. I took these, these little caterpillars are being so destructive to my basil. Um, and I found them inside. Now that happens. And this is happening to me. They are, this happened about four days ago. I couldn't find out who was munching my leaves. Look at that. They can be so destructive. They totally munch out everything on your plant. I couldn't find out who was destroying this, and yesterday I came outside when it was pouring, um, tinkering around because I haven't treated much inside with my neem oil. Um, the last time I treated in here was about two weeks ago. So these little buggers I found yesterday when I was out here, and I just cut that whole branch of basil off that they were attacking. You can see they just poop all over the place. They're disgusting. Um, they make a mess in your house, in your lanai here. So what I did was they were on a branch like this. I'm crazy. I cut the whole branch off um, that they were on, and I put it in here. And you can tell there's no leaves left. They totally munched out all them leaves. And this is what they do. And I wanted to show you. I knew there was more around in my home, um, around my thing, around my, um, excuse me, my lanai. And I was right. He's right here. He's right underneath this leaf. I want to try to get it for you. I'm sorry right there and this basil was on the other side this was over here so this was totally away from my other plants that was right there and this is the other basil that was getting attacked and this is where they stay so you know I knew that since I had two big ones destroying this for days that I was gonna have more in my lanai so check your lanai if you're seeing caterpillars on just one of your plants they're most likely around your other plants so make sure they're gone Pick off all these dead, disgusting leaves. I'm going to cut this whole branch off till about here um, just because it's going to come back a lot better. I'm going to cut it right off at this point, and then it'll start bushing out and coming back. Um, now, that's really drastic to do, so <laughs> it's up to you whether you want to remove just a leaf or two. Um, you know, these leaves that they munched out, they're not going to come back. So what I tend to do after they've totally destructed my plant is I pluck all the leaves. You know, I cut all the leaves off that are really destroyed. If it's just a little bit, you know, this one's almost gone, so I'll take it off. If it's just like a little bit, I'll leave it. Um, but, you know, you can tell they're totally destructing it. So get them off of there. This way it encourages new healthy growth to come about and grow. Um, get them little buggers in a bag. Get them off. Squish them in the bag and dispose of them somewhere where they cannot get into your garden again. Um, I'm going to get this little creeper in with those other ones and try to check my lanai. You know, go throughout my lanai and check. They will come indoors. Um, I want to just give you a really quick tour on my garden to show you how much I stopped those caterpillars. Um, this is my pumpkin. It's growing really good. You can tell just how much they've munched out of my plant. And these caterpillars are going to do this right now. They are you know crazy right now look at that I pollinated my pumpkin so happy that's pollinated I'm gonna leave him laying down on that paint stick right there I'm trying to keep everything off the ground so this way they don't infest my plants these are some string beans that they're munching on see and it's been about it's only been about four days since I treated with my neem oil so I'm gonna have to hit this again um, if you're getting constant bugs and you're treating with neem oil, um, you know, you can tell this, this cucumber has grown so fast, nothing's touching it. I treat with neem oil. If I still see caterpillars and I'm treating once a week with neem and it's not holding them back, I'll go to twice a week with neem as a foliage spray. I'll do the foliage spray diluted at a quarter teaspoon per 34 ounce bottle and I'll give them a good spray. Um, check out my video if you need help on neem. You can tell my plants are just growing nice and big and healthy. Nothing's getting to them. I just want to kind of give you a tour and show you what that preventative with neem does. Now, I do not spray neem oil in the daytime because there's a chance of the sun coming out again and burning your leaves. I took my other. Now, this had two green beans in here. There was one here, too. And I took it out because I wasn't sure what was going on with it. It was getting really, like, a lot of leaf curl. Leaf curl kind of looks like this, like your leaves will curl up and that's no good because that's, that's a disease in your plant and it's not really going to produce, it's going to spread to your other plants. So I cut that one on out of there and I'm going to plant some more, I'm not worried about it. 
Um, but that's another video leaf curl. You can tell I stopped the buggies from biting all my plants here. Blackberry is doing good, and I want to show you my corn real quick, how big it's getting, just because of the preventative treatment. Keeping these little buggers out of my garden out here. Now I really got to concentrate inside. You know, you don't think they're going to munch your plants inside worse than outside, but they will. They will find your plants and get to them and totally tear them apart till there's nothing left. These are doing good, you can tell. Um, you know, no new, no new bites. This was the only one that I had a few weeks ago when they were starting to get it, and that's it. They haven't touched it since then. Doing good. My string beans that popped up. I transplanted this guy here. I don't know if he's going to make it too well. He's getting that leaf curl on him, so I'm not sure. We'll have to see. That's a squash. This thing has grown two leaves on it since just two days ago. Squash grows about two inches a day. Nothing's getting it yet. Look at all my pumpkins that popped up. This is crazy. I didn't even know these are all in here. Check out all them pumpkin plants. <laughs> I didn't even know where they came from, how they got in here. I planted two of them, but now so much more are popping out, and I have one hiding back there too. Um, I got like seven in this bed alone, so I got to do something with that. Buggy stopped eating my watermelons. they just been going to town. Look at this. They're totally eating my leaves apart, so I got to treat this quite a bit again too. So if you keep seeing, if you're treating with neem oil at night and it's not going away, these bugs, and you're seeing they're taking big chunks out, treat with neem twice a week with the foliage spray and once a week in the soil. And you should be okay, guys. Till next time, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this wasn't too long for you. If you have any questions on buggies and critters in your garden, let me know. I get all kinds of them here in Florida. Can't wait to show you this once it all fills in. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.